And I stop here because competent and effective, that was President Biden's, the crux of his campaign pitch back in 2020. And we actually polled this question in 2020, and it was basically the exact opposite. It was Biden wow. with about a 10-point advantage over Trump. And again, same with handling a crisis. Biden had the edge over Trump. And how about this? It's the former president, the current president. We don't really see matchups like this. Well, now we can measure it. Who has the strong record as president? And again, Trump outpacing Biden on that front. And again, you got to mention this one, too. Necessary mental and physical health. We asked this four years ago. It was a wash. It's now a clear liability for Joe Biden. So these are all troubling numbers for Biden. Can you imagine how painful that segment was for them to produce? The lunatics that work for that network, the arrogant, overpaid talking heads are some of the biggest well, fibbers, let's call them that, in the industry. Yet here they are in April of an election year showing us the actual truth because the American people are leaving them with no other choice. Trust me, I'm hardly end endorsing NBC as a reliable, trustworthy source over my dead body, but their own polls show Trump's dominance. Polls that they ask their audience to complete. Snake bit by their own plan, a total and complete backfire. Even the daily NBC consumer agrees. It's Trump over Biden in November. This is just isn't happening at NBC. It's happening all over the radical left networks, and they're struggling to hide the truth. Real America is overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly, overwhelming their agenda. The polls they asked for are no longer yielding the results they so desperately expected, needed, and wanted. Suddenly, CNN is starting to make sense, certainly not on purpose. Listen to this breakdown of a network poll that they asked their viewers to complete. Donald Trump, despite everything that has happened, everything that has happened, is actually slightly more liked. 47% favorable rating. So this isn't just a lesser of two evils that's going on. The fact is that Donald Trump is, in fact, better liked than he was four years ago and is better liked than Joe Biden is right now in these battleground states. It's pretty gosh darn clear. Mm -mm. Uh oh, their viewers, they're not supposed to hear that, are they? Could you imagine the meltdowns that are happening in their production meetings? I guarantee you a network-wide email went out. I can almost see it myself. Something like, no more polls. Kill the election coverage immediately. Folks, pivot. Cover the Trump trial. We can't win with polls. Let's get back to the courtroom. And, of course, that's what they've done all day, showing images of this man in court covered by analysts who are paid to spread lies. Trump is falling asleep in court. Trump is farting in the courtroom. All BS, of course. The sham case is keeping a leading political candidate, the face of an entire party, off the campaign trail. And the left-wing media wants you to think it's OK. What we're seeing is completely unethical, folks. It's not journalism. It's the most blatant, egregious example of American election interference. No prior example comes remotely close. The left-wing establishment media may never give you the full truth, but the former president does every chance he gets. Donald Trump knows how to make just about anywhere a campaign stop. He's spoken on the streets of Harlem, from the doorway of his own home, and as we've seen too often, right outside the courtroom. If a lawyer puts in a bill or an invoice and you pay the bill and in the book, it's a little line that's a very small little line. I don't know if you could even write more than two words. It's not like you could tell a life story. They marked it down to a legal expense. This is what I got indicted over. Think of it. I got indicted. I'm the leading candidate. I'm beating Biden. I'm beating the Republicans now. I have the nomination. And this is what they try and take me off the trail for. Of course, you'll never meet a Democrat who owns up to the scheme that they're doing in the media. The two-faced Biden-worshipping politicians on the left only tell the truth if it's by accident. And, you know, I go back to the responsibility of Congress here, mm -hmm. um, because had the Senate actually gone through with the impeachment of Donald Trump, Hello. we would not be in this situation. Did you hear that? Did you hear what that raging lunatic just said? Pramila Jayapal, an elected official who swore to defend our Constitution, just admitted on live television that her party would have never put Trump on trial if the Senate had impeached him and barred him from running again.